What is a bigger threat to Bible-believing Christianity? Leftist, communist, or right-wing fascists? Specifically, uh, leftist, communistic, perverted, uh, evolutionary atheists versus uh, Roman Catholic, uh, right-wing fascist. What has been a bigger threat to Bible-believing Christianity? Well, um, understanding that the Roman Catholic Church has, actually controls both movements, the left and the right, communism and fascism. I have a study on that. Um, but we don't have to guess at who's a bigger threat. We actually have historical examples of who has killed Christians more. And uh, the answer to that is the leftist communists. Uh, there's no debating that issue. Um, sure, there have been the persecutions by the Roman Catholic Church with the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre, the Spanish Inquisition, all the dark ages where the Roman Catholics killed off the uh, heretics. Um, centuries of persecution, that is true. But when you get right down to it, when you have massive killings that happen, it's, um, it's actually the leftist communists that are a lot worse. Uh, examples in the 20th century, of course, being the communist uh, Russia, you know, regime there with Lenin and Stalin and, you know, up through. Um, they killed an estimated 60 million of their own people. Not all Christians, obviously, but uh, they killed a lot of people. Um, and you have uh, the Mao Zedong uh, in uh, China over there, the communistic system in China, and again, killed, there's really no way to know over there. I mean, I've heard estimates as high as 100 million people killed by communist Chinese. You never know. They're not exactly going to tell the truth about it. So the left is actually a greater threat in my opinion. Give me your thoughts in the comments below if you agree or disagree. The left is actually more of a threat than uh, alt-right fascism, which is typically used by uh, sort of the red-blooded Roman Catholic men. They don't really fall much for the uh, communistic type of thing. I guess somewhat they can, but but uh, Roman Catholicism, you know, you go back to the ancient Roman system, the legions, the Iron Legions of Rome, they were, uh, you know, that's where the whole, I believe, the fasci thing came from, where you have them bundled together, you know, and the, the banner with the eagle and everything else. Um, a lot of those ancient Roman practices, of course, have survived to today through the Roman Catholic Church. And all through the years of, there's a bug right on the lens there. All through the years with um, the, you know, Roman Catholic system and controlling countries through their Catholic knighthoods and uh, so, you know, I tend to focus a lot on Roman Catholicism, which is completely scriptural. Revelation chapter 17 and 18 describes it perfectly. Uh, so, which is, you know, I'm supposed to focus on that whole thing. But I can't, you know, I've been a little bit remiss, I guess, in my um, defense against or my fight against the left. And unfortunately, I'm seeing their power growing. And that's a very serious threat. These little bugs are really bugging me. Um, you know, because basically right now what we have is you can see the Ignite the Right movement. You can see that there are provocations that are being made, that uh, certain races get away with crimes and others don't, if you know what I mean. Um, that's just, again, it's a scientific fact. You can see that uh, there are certain races that commit crime and murder and whatever else, and they get a slap on the wrist. Others uh, commit far less crime, and they go to prison for 10, 20 years. Just how it is. And uh, that's creating anger. Um, and that will lead to the eventual alt-right fascist movement. And you have a lot of the papal Jews out there, the Jews that serve the Vatican, and those people Jews are communistic. 
and social socialism, communism, whatever you want to call it, it's basically the same thing. A little bit of variation between the two, I guess, but not a whole lot. But they're coming out and they're saying we need to have all these laws and the ACLU and we're going to label white men as uh, extremist, racist, you know, Nazis, neo-Nazis and whatever else. And some of them are. But uh, they come out and they say we're going to make these lists of people and we need, we need to censor their speech and, and uh, we need to charge people with hate crimes. Hate crimes are very important. We need to have that out there. Um, free men, uh, they don't believe in hate crimes. I don't believe in hate crime. Very simple. Some Roman Catholic comes out and says, uh, Brian Denlinger needs to die. Brian Denlinger is a wicked, you know, blah, 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 just go down through the list. I mean, look at some of the stuff that's written online about me. Some of the uh, threats and, and uh, libel and slander that's been put out about me. Eh, <laughs> whatever. Um, I know that uh, I try to do right. I know what I believe in. I know my stands. I'm not worried about it, you know. I mean, I was raised up with the belief that um, if somebody is, says something hateful about you or whatever else, you took care of it. It usually led to a fist fight or something like that. That's just the way it was. I didn't try to take away their freedom and take away their rights because they said something mean. You know, I, I can't get along with this, this modern fairy movement where you say, I feel threatened right now. I feel very threatened. This Gen Z millennial type of thing. Um, you know, right now, I'm, I feel, that guy went by a little bit fast, and I feel very threatened by that. You know, he could have gone off the road and come in through the woods here and hit me and killed me, and I feel very threatened, and I should probably have, you know, hate crime laws. That was, that was actually a hate crime or something. <laughs> uh, what if that guy went right, going past by and he ran into my vehicle or something? Then I'll take care of it, you know. But uh, charging people with hate crimes, you're not very secure in your beliefs if you have to do that. Um, but this left woke, all the satanic stuff that they're coming out with, and it is satanic. It's all based on atheism. It's all based on just a bunch of uh, wicked people that think that progress means that you ha constantly have to tear down what is established. You know, you have to deny history. You have to deny anything that's ever worked. Um, the only thing we can be sure of is that we're not sure of anything. You know, that's mental illness, if you haven't figured that out yet, okay? It's not a good thing. It's not a healthy thing. But um, I'll be quite frank about it. Like I said a little bit earlier there, I, you know, this whole leftist agenda has been sneaking up. And I keep looking at it over at the Roman Catholics. What are they doing? These trad cats and everything else. The Catholic Church is a mess right now. I mean, it's a, a major mess. You know, they're, they're in no position to take over and... To come after Bible believers and whatever else. I mean, there, there's so much infighting within Catholicism. You know, the church that Christ founded. Sure, right. Um, yeah, there's no Protestants. There's 30,000 denominations or 40,000 denominations. But the Catholics, well, they all get along. Well, that's right. No, they don't. The fighting between the Latin mass versus the Latin, or the regular mass and people's language and all these different things. And should we ordain women? Should we uh, be okay with sodomy and whatever else? Catholics are fighting all the time. And even within the the different ranks of the Jesuits versus the Dominicans and the Franciscans and the, you know, just fighting all the time. So they're in no position to really be much of a threat to Bible believers at this point. Now they could come into a position, and they will be at some point in time. And I believe that that's the system of the Antichrist that you read about in the book of Revelation. Get off the lens, bug. Um, but we're not there yet. We're not there. And right now, I see a very major threat with the leftist agenda. And uh, I would say that, you know, as a Christian, you have to be out here. You have to say, okay, um, is there a threat from a black bear that's got a major attitude right now? You know, could a black bear be coming through the woods at me? Yes. What about in the winter? No. Why not? Because they hibernate. Okay. Not worried about black bears back you know at that point in time and it, I've seen very few you know on my property there's been a couple but they usually don't pose a threat usually when a black bear hears you coming they head the other way um, but a moose like a big bull moose 
you know, eh, you can kind of hit them at the wrong time. They can get a little bit aggressive, but usually not. Usually they go the other direction as well. <gasps> there, did you hear that? It's a squirrel. They're the most dangerous of all. <laughs> uh, you say, what's your point with all the animal talk? Well, very simple. Um, I have to concern myself being out here uh, with the animals and be ready. Um, I have in my camera bag here, I have certain things that would be a deterrence to uh, four-legged critters and two-legged critters if need be. I'm actually uh, more concerned about two-legged critters nowadays trying to mess around on my property and whatever and need to be taken care of. But, uh, so what's the big threat? Left or right? Which way should we go to? Well, right now, I'm walking on a trail. A trail on my property here. And uh, I don't want to go to the left of the trail or to the right of the trail right now. Just stay on the narrow path here. But you see, um, there could be some danger from the left over this way. There could all of a sudden be a, a bear come through to my left. Right there, here he comes, he's coming across. The road's out that way, there could be a two-legged uh, danger coming in this way. I have to be prepared for that. But, there could also be danger to the right. Here comes a big bull moose. Here comes a whatever. The bear could circle around and get me from that side or something. Uh, you have to be sober, you have to be vigilant. Uh, walking through the woods, I mean, it's, it's not dangerous in Maine. It's not that bad, but I mean, I've been out west. I've been up in Alaska. You know, you have grizzly bear up there. You have mountain lion out in Montana. I was stalked by a mountain lion out there. I was fishing and and I was and all these rocks along the river and everything else. And I could hear something above me. And uh, it would move when I would move, you know, and stalking me. And I could hear it breathing. And I thought, oh boy. And I said, you know, I called out my brother's name. I said, is that you up there? No answer. I thought, uh oh. <laughs> and uh, got away, of course, you know, just got down into the water and crawled along the rocks and you know didn't make it that he could come down at me got away from it I'm still here obviously and uh, but there's danger out there but as a Christian you have to look and say okay the devil is like a lion that he stalks you Rome's about seeking whom he may devour you know when you were to resist the devil you don't just say well you know, the rapture's going to be today, here, soon, or this month. It's the Revelation 12th sign, and we're going to be out of here, so don't bother fighting, and we just have to submit to it, and, and that's how it is. Okay, the evil's here. There's nothing we can do about it. Then why does the Bible say that we're to resist the devil? It's kind of weird. If you just submit to the evil, then uh, what's the point of resisting? Doesn't make much sense now, does it? Um, no, we're supposed to fight the devil and his system. He who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. That's the body of Christ. That's what that's in reference to. The Holy Spirit within the body of Christ. I'll say it that way. Um, we're supposed to hinder the Antichrist system. Fight the Antichrist system. That's what we're supposed to do. Well, then we have to be aware of what's going on with the left and what's going on with the right. Uh, as a Bible believer, you can't really yoke up with either movement. You have to understand that uh, the Republicans aren't going to fix the problem. And Democrats didn't create it. And vice versa. Um, we have a major problem in this country. And we have to do what we can to maintain a peaceful system whereby we can preach the gospel without being put in prison for it. Well, you're not a real Christian unless you're ready for prison and whatever else. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see how many of you people out there that... Pretend that you're all big and bad because you can write a comment on YouTube. We'll see how uh, tough you are if things get really bad and they start putting Christians to death or whatever. Both sides have done it. Both the left and the right. But if you want my honest opinion, uh, right now, I see the left as more of a, a danger. And, you know, if we just continue to smash down the alt-right fascist movement and just say we'll fight against that pray against that then the devil's just going to use the left to come after us and they're a lot more deadly because they don't even try to confess 
a belief in Jesus Christ. Uh, I have met Catholics that although they're lost and on their way to hell, they will talk. They're a little bit more rational than some. Some of them, yeah, just crazy, you know, nutty people. They don't want to talk, they're very narrow-minded. But then you'll meet some that are actually a little bit more scholarly and will argue with you and debate with you and whatever. And um, the alt-right movement in Nazi Germany, uh, you know, only, you know, few million people were killed there with Nazi Germany, the, all the death camps and things. Yeah, but what about the uh, communistic camps and things in Siberia and all the other stuff, you know, things in China and whatever? It's, it's amazing how you get taught about all the evils of Nazi Germany, and it was evil, no question. But then they don't talk much about the uh, communist camps of Russia and the labor camps, labor camps of China, many of which still exist, even today, 2023. But um, both systems are a threat, brethren. But what we have to do as a Christian is you have to try to fight both systems and expose both systems. Um, and, you know, it's very challenging because both systems will try to draw you in and say, you know, well, in the New Testament they had all things common. Uh, yeah, for a little while they did, but it didn't work and they dropped that system. You see, they were believing that Jesus was coming back soon. Um, back then in the first century, they were ignorant of a few things. Um, and a lot of people are still doing the same thing today, by the way. Uh, just openly saying, well, Jesus is coming, so just let this whole system fall apart. Uh, that isn't right. It's not supposed to be that way. Um, so, I'd like to hear people's thoughts on this whole thing. Uh, the liberal left versus the alt-right conservative movement. What's a bigger f threat? What do you feel more threatened by? People coming along and saying that uh, the Bible's not true and that we should have communistic universal basic income and, and uh, you own nothing and be happy and all this other satanic stuff. And you should be completely okay with people that want to identify as anything. And there is no way to properly identify what is a man? What is a woman? Well, we don't really know for sure. We're not sure. I mean, we, we were sure once, but then, you know, it used to be that the uh, communistic left, they would fight for women's rights. Women are just as good as men. Women are just as good as men. Now they're saying, no, women are men, and men are women, and, and uh, women are uh, uh, genderless uh, things, or, you know, we don't really know what a woman is. And, um, that stuff needs to be fought against, uh, no matter what it costs you. Uh, and I realize it could cost me a lot. You know, these devils, they could try to put me in prison or whatever else. Um, whatever it takes, I'm not going along with it. Uh, I would rather have the uh, alt-right system come to power, because I think there's a better chance for Christians to survive in that atmosphere than there is with the uh, communistic left. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, just look at history. What uh, killed more people? Communism or fascism? Communism. Communism is far more evil. It's far more satanic. And so, um, I'm not telling you to run out and vote for the alt-right president that will be raised up in the future. I'm not telling you to, telling you to do that. But what I'm saying is, um, pray. Pray about this whole thing. And uh, you have to stand for what's right. And a lot of times those stands will make it look like you're lining up with the alt-right or even maybe the liberal left or something on some issues. You know, standing against a uh, church state, organized religion, controlling things, that would you know, make you look like a communist, communist or something, a leftist. But uh, then you take stands against sodomy and you take stands against abortion and all the other satanic stuff that the left comes up with. Then they say, oh, you're all right. That's whatever, you know. Uh, it's like the whole thing of the Godhead doctrine, you know. I believe that there's separation, separation within the Godhead. They say, oh, you're a Trinitarian. No, I believe that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are just one being. Oh, then you're a modalist. <sighs> no, I'm not either one. So I believe in the Godhead doctrine. Hopefully I've illustrated my point. So I'll quit rambling now. We need to get to the office so I can upload this video. And um, thank you to everybody out there.
for your support of the ministry and uh, be coming up with some good stuff here in the future. And uh, that will be it. See you in the next video.